in our previous video, I talked about uh, these solar tiles here from Tesla. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at my six boxes plus worth of not solar tiles and see if there's really a difference. So as a fun fact, we got about five boxes worth of solar. We got six and a little bit of edging boxes worth of just glass tiles, no solar. So almost half my roof um, is going to be solar. Uh, interestingly enough, these actually come out of China. The glass tiles do. The solar tiles over there come out of Buffalo, New York. They're manufactured there. Um, but for the glass tiles, they actually get them from China, which, you know, is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but it is interesting because you, you wouldn't know until you bought them. Um, but, yep, they are Tesla brand, so it's not like I'm showing you some kind of off-brand here. And uh, here is one of the many just glass tiles. From my understanding, they come in all different sizes. So this is a, this is a small one. Uh, this one here is a much longer, much bigger one. But they all have the same layout as uh, the solar tiles. They all have this little metal, I guess, bracket here that clicks into uh, the receiving end of this plastic piece here allowing you to lock the tiles together. They tell you about how to align them. Uh, very classy uh, overall. They look good. They match the solar ones quite well. We'll, uh, we'll bring this around now. We can actually check that out. Uh, again, you can see how, whoop, you can see how they're going to align. It would just click right into there, boom. And you would just do a whole row just like that. Uh, now, if I flip this puppy over, we can see how well they match. Oh, huh. yeah, they're they're identical, or basically identical. Um, it's going to depend on the angle too, and what this camera's picking up. From my eyes and seeing it in person here, uh, these these two pieces look identical. Besides this faint look of, well, the solar panel, the solar cells that are in this panel. Um, but pretty awesome overall. Flip that puppy back over. I don't know. I've always, I've always understood that you shouldn't leave unplugged in solar panels in the sun with their solar side up. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just like silliness, but eh, I'll flip it over. So other than that, I got a ton of different boxes for them, and I'm assuming it has to do something with the numbers. We have a four here, and it might be panels like this length. We have a five, which might be even longer panels. There's some twos, and there's some ones. I think the ones are, yeah, the ones are, I guess, one-sixth the size of a full panel, and then they scale all the way up. The fives are, yeah, the fives are five-sixths. Uh, the twos are one-third. And there must be sixes, which is a full-size panel. Uh, yes, the fours, there we go, are two-thirds. So all different sizes. That way they don't have to cut these panels in order for them to fit all the nuances and turns and cuts in your roof. They can just have panels that'll, that'll work. Because with, um, with how they lay out uh, the metal edging on the side, they have it designed that it'll give them enough play to judge what panel needs to go where so that they can, you know, put the required amount of space between metal uh, and actual solar panels because you need to have a buffer because you're, you're playing with electricity, so you don't want, you don't want any of that going on. Um, also, back to the panels here, this is a really interesting part too. These glass ones all have a rubber backing on them. All of them, every single one, a nice rubber backing, which is really intriguing, I guess, to just better insulate them because they are supposed to be the separating thing between your active solar tiles and your you know, non-active solar tiles. These guys are a nice buffer between that so that you don't have any odd electrical problems or dangerous electrical problems. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting about 
uh, the regular glass solar tiles V3 from Tesla. I think it's pretty cool how they're laying that out. It, it seems it seems pretty intelligent having different sized ones. But uh, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Um, if there's something I missed or something you're interested in knowing, um, let me know before they go up on the roof because after that they're not coming down. And uh, I'll do my best to cover it. Um, check out some of my other videos on this roof. I, I'm probably going to put up a fair amount because people seem pretty intrigued about it. And other than that, have a great day.